So how's it going guys? My name is Kryptonic and today I'm going to be talking about something that you guys can download to record your screen on your computer for your games and stuff like that or just in general your screen. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video remember to leave a like and a comment down below but anyways guys let's get straight into the video. Also quick shout out goes out to Sparks. He did make my new profile banner and of course profile picture and it does look really good if you guys have not seen it on my YouTube main page. You guys should definitely go check him out. I'm going to leave a link down below and you know go check him out and see if he has anything that you guys might like but you know he does some amazing work and he does seem like a really good youtuber go check him out but anyways guys let's get straight into the video so what i'm talking about today is geforce experience and geforce experience is probably the best thing out there but there is a catch you guys do need to have a geforce uh, capture card in order to be able to utilize this to the max and that is actually really fair because why would they make such a great program and then make it available to you know all the PCs out there when in general if Nvidia is making this they have to you know kind of leverage people to get it by buying a graphics card that's from uh, Nvidia. Now this is a really good you know recorder because it works as easily as Fraps if you guys have ever used Fraps you guys know that you just click and that's it it starts recording and it records with so little latency that it, you know it just makes a recording so easy to you know to record on your PC it doesn't really do anything besides go off of the GPU that you have so it is unlike other programs out there like OBS OBS might you know drag your computer into the smithereens because it's so slow once you start recording if your computer can't handle it but if you guys do have a Nvidia graphics card over the 600 series I believe then you guys can use this and it is one of the best tools I've ever used Used in my life so down here I just have the GeForce experience that's what you guys need to download in order to be able to utilize it and once you guys have the GeForce experience all you guys are gonna have to do is just click it open and once you guys have it open you're just gonna want to head over to the settings in the top right and once you're here you just want to go down and right here under the share you want to turn this on and of course you can customize it however you want but the way I have it set up it's just alt and Z and it'll activate this little prompt screen which is what we're looking at right now so this does have an Elgato similar feature where you can go back and you know it'll grab whatever you have ready from a couple minutes ago which is a replay in the Elgato software which is really nice coming from an Elgato I really appreciate the feature now another thing we have here is for the record tab we can customize this however we want we can go all the way up to 4k which I think is really great and we do have 60 FPS and 30 FPS and you know it just makes it really simple to record anything you want and if you guys want to live stream you guys can easily do that too you can live stream to Twitch to YouTube you can select how high you want the resolution to go and of course the frame rate you can do 30 FPS or 60 for here it does only go up to 1440p but you know that's standard then going back here we do have a voice option you can customize what microphone you want I do have my ATR microphone and my Gam Diaz headset and of course my microphone camera which is never any good you can customize that and you do have a camera option here and you can customize whether it's on and off and you can also add in little overlays and stuff like that but if we go over to the settings tab you can see that you can connect a bunch of other stuff here like your twitch your google and you know your youtube obviously i have my youtube connected because this is what i enjoy using to live stream whenever i'm not doing anything too serious now for overlays you can select your camera you can select the status indicator your fps counter and the view counter which is really nice because you know when you're live streaming you want to know how many people are watching and I just have the camera the viewer shower and of course the status indicator and some other things we have here is just standard like keyboard shortcuts which is just like any other program that you use you just do whatever you want with it make your hotkeys whatever you want of course for recording where the files are gonna go for me they all just go there for broadcasting it's just a matter of linking everything you have so if you have your YouTube you have to add in the key so that way you can live stream directly to your YouTube and here it's just other things that you can mess around with on your own free time and of course this is just to record your desktop if you select yes you can use it to record your entire screen or you can just you know if you don't want to record your screen accidentally then just click no and of course if you do have a tanky computer then you can always just try OBS which is the most common one but you know sometimes it really does bring down your computer anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did remember to leave a like and a comment down below go check it out for yourself and tell me down below if you guys can use it and if you guys have used it before tell me what you guys think of it and you know it's just a great way to record your screen hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys around tomorrow peace guys